Imagine that I don't know what water is. And then one day this bottle of water showed up and there is water in here. And so now I can see it, I can taste it, I can feel it, I am experiencing it, which is what I would call beliefs. Then someone tells me that an ocean exists. What's going on guys? So as a lot of you know, lately on my channel, I've been talking about specifically the difference between faith and belief. And I put out a video that talked about the entire etymological, historical context of the definitions of faith and belief and how I personally see that they're different. And then I put out a video on just more afterthoughts on belief and how even my definitions, because the definitions are subjective, the English language is very subjective to the individual and how we choose to use our words. And the question that I asked myself and the question that I keep on getting in comments is can they coexist? Can both faith and belief, if they are distinct, if they are different from one another, can they coexist? Can I have both faith and belief in something? Can I both experience something like God or religion and have faith for it? So after thinking a lot about it and doing all the research on seeing the distinction between the two and how they're different, I have to say that I do also think that they can coexist. And I think that they're actually both kind of entangled in one another. And there's this sort of juggling between the two back and forth that goes on. And to explain what I mean and to explain further how they can coexist, I've kind of thought of this analogy or metaphor or whatever you want to call it. So it goes like this. Imagine that I don't know what water is. I've never seen water, I've never tasted water, I've never felt water. I didn't know that water existed. I didn't believe in it, there was no faith for it, it was just, I, I didn't know about it at all. And then one day, this bottle of water showed up and there is water in here. And so now I can see it, I can taste it, I can feel it, I am experiencing it, which is what I would call belief. So I believe that water exists like you know like i said this is experiencing the water in this water bottle now then somebody tells me that in, even though i've never seen water never felt water except for this then someone tells me that an ocean exists now this is what i've experienced so i know that there's this amount of water that exists but i don't know about an Ocean. I mean, I've never seen it before, never experienced it, except for this water bottle right here. But there's somebody telling me that an ocean exists. And I'm like, what is an ocean? And they say, well, imagine this times however many times a, a million billion. And it's just this land. It, it looks, instead of land and ground, it's just this mass of water. And I'm thinking to myself, I don't know because I know that this exists and I know that I experienced this, but I don't know about the ocean. So I would say that I would believe in, in this amount of water, believe that this water exists, but for an ocean, because I've experienced this, for an ocean, I, that takes faith for me to believe that. Now it doesn't always have to happen in that order. Somebody can be told about the ocean and be told how it's how water is seen, how it's felt, how it tastes and all of that and they can have faith in that and then one day they can see this bottle of water or experience this bottle of water and it can become belief. Now that's just one example. I think the first example of seeing this first and then having faith in something is more of a it, it makes more sense to me but on my spiritual journey now referring to God I'm finding that I have to I have to take action in faith first and then hopefully at some point the belief will come at some point maybe hopefully we'll see so another thing is I've actually had a conversation with my parents about the distinction between faith and belief and I told them about that water bottle analogy in the ocean and things like that and my mom actually said she said that she's never seen heaven but she believes in heaven that heaven exists and I kind of I, I gave her this look like um, I, I would think see I would say that 
that she that it's a mixture there because she would say that she has witnessed uh, and experienced God and the Holy Spirit and so through that experience of maybe that was a touch of heaven touching her or her feeling the effects of heaven or what may be I think that's both belief that what she felt and experienced and also faith because she's never actually been to heaven. So I do think that there is a trade-off of, of, of back and forth there and I do think that they can coexist. The trade-off being with the water bottle and the water analogy and the coexistence being in the believing in heaven but also experiencing a touch of it and they're really similar but they're sort of the same so I think that belief and faith can be entangled and they actually work hand in hand with each other. And I think for people in religion or spirituality, I think that there's no right or wrong way of like whether you believe in something or have faith in something first. I think they both kind of juggle each other and like I said they just they they trade off they go back and forth but I do think what is very important is being super honest with yourself and super just like vulnerable with yourself and admitting whether or not you have faith or belief in something and I say that because I've met a lot of Christians that say that they believe in this, that they believe in God. And then I ask them, have you ever experienced God? And they say no. And I'm like, well, that's not belief, that's faith. And many people would argue about that, but I also think that that is so, that that's so crucial to this whole walk and this whole journey in spirituality is that you be really real and honest with yourself in areas that you would have faith, in areas that you have belief. And I think that I think that acknowledging whether or not you have faith or belief in something can really dictate the journey of the spirit, the journey of spiritual pursuit. And now having said that, I'm, I'm giving a lot of analogy with spirituality and religion, but I also think that faith and belief, it's, it's not it's not distinct to spirituality and religion. I think the definitions of both of those words can be applied to anything outside of spirituality or religion as well, like science. And I've said this in past videos, uh, the videos before on faith and belief, but science, a lot of science in today is a lot of theories, especially physics. Physics and metaphysics in today's day and age, it, it kind of, they kind of go hand in hand. And so it, a lot of physics is even still theory, like string theory. Now, we have experienced like the, the particles, like we have science that it's like, we can believe that the particles that they are speaking of are absolutely 100% real. But the theory of inside of the quarks, a string being in there and those being the layout and groundwork for the entire universe and maybe even the multiverse, that is still a theory. We have not been able to prove that. So that takes faith to like, and I mean, the the, the scientists that, that are constantly experimenting with this and constantly seeking these things out they are having faith that these theories aren't just theories that they are going to believe it someday and we are all going to experience the benefit of science advancing in that area but they also believe because of their experience because of what they the experiments that they've had in particle physics and whatnot that they believe that this part of reality and everything else is is concrete. So I hope that clears up a lot of questions that you've maybe had about the difference between faith and belief and if they can coexist. And if so, let me know what you think about it down in the comments. And this is something that we can talk about on YouTube Live and also Tally TV. Guys, Tally TV, I really like the idea for this and please go and sign up it's completely free and it gives us a chance to debate and talk and conversate about these subjects and not just you know you guys typing it out and me replying over uh, YouTube live or FaceTime or whatever 
but it actually gives you a chance to be right there on the screen with me talking to me face to face and dialoguing about these subjects so please go sign up for tally tv it's going to be a ton of fun i really want to make it like a once a week thing and even youtube live a once a week thing and so um, looking forward to that looking forward to talking about this stuff more and so um, if you like this video like subscribe and share and i will see you misfits in the next one peace